All right, hey subbies, I'm back. As you can see, I'm still rocking the braids, but I have um, actually a bun, one of my favorite buns. Maybe I'll do a tutorial. I'm not even sure if you can really see it. It's kind of like a, they're, all the things are, are pinwheels. Anyway, my ends are still covered. That That's the whole purpose. I am doing a tag video. I was tagged by our lady, uh, what is your, I'm not even going to try and mess it up. I'm going to put her video underneath. If you're not checking out her videos, go check her out. She has really, really long, gorgeous hair, and you'll probably learn a lot from her. And, let's see. I don't remember what the tag name was. I wrote the questions down, and I've made it a point to get to this, so I am getting to it. I just finished doing hair and makeup and getting ready to finish getting dressed. Don't judge me. I do wear t-shirts to sleep the majority of the time. It is what it is. It's cold, you guys. Alright, so the first question in the tag is, are you named after anyone? And yes, my mom thought it would be cool to have our names pretty much be the same. So, our first name is spelled exactly the same except for the last three letters. And my middle name is, is spelled exactly the same as hers except for the first letter. And we have the same last name. But the only cool thing is, it actually works out if I'm flying to go see her or she's flying to come see me and I'm somewhere else and I get a round trip ticket or something and end up driving back, she's able to use the ticket and just tell them that they misspelled her name or my name or, you know what I mean. So that's kind of cool. Alright, when is the last time I cried? Oh my god. If you've been following my channel, you know that I recently lost somebody who was very, very close to me. Um, and I guess when someone passes away you don't really lose them and that's what I'm learning as long as you keep their memory alive and you remember the things they taught you and everything they brought into your life you haven't lost them but it doesn't mean I haven't cried so I cry almost every day sorry that's YouTube going off and you know it's it's a it's a healing process um, I'm still grieving so let's get off that alright do I have any kids no, I ain't got no no bad kids, no. I cannot wait to have kids. I'll probably have kids within the next few years, and I am hoping to have twins because I'm only doing the pregnancy once because I ain't got no patience. Seriously. I have patience for kids with being pregnant and not be able to move and all that stuff. You know, you guys who have done it and have a few of them, more power to you. I, look, I'm only doing the pregnancy thing one time, and if you know me, you already know. Let's see, if you were another person, would you be your friend? Yes, I'd be my friend. I am entertainment all day long. I try to tone it down for this channel because I'm a little too much sometimes. And my family will tell you, I always got something to say. I think everything's funny. And I'd be my friend. I think I'm cool. Yeah, I think I'm alright. I'm not very girly. I'm very, like... I have a lot more guy friends and tomboy friends than I do feminine friends. So, if you're very feminine, you may not want to be my friend because I don't do all the the girls stuff. I'm just saying. Do you use sarcasm a lot? I use sarcasm every day. I always got something to say, like I told you guys. Will you bungee jump? Now, I'm not full black, but we all know that black people ain't bungee jumping. So my black side is telling me no. Favorite cereal? Uh, shredded wheat. I love shredded wheat. And I know everybody else thinks it's gross, it's weird. I love some shredded wheat. And soy milk. I don't drink regular milk. I drink soy milk or almond milk, but I love soy milk. First thing you notice on a person. I would say your your teeth and your smile and your eyes. I guess that's more than one thing, huh? My bad. What is my eye color? Black? Dark brown? I don't know. Do I like scary movies or happy endings? I like scary movies if it's not at night and someone's watching it with me and if I can watch it like this. Scary, scary movies freak me out. I am like a happy ending person. I love a movie that ends in a happy ending. I love cartoons. Just saying. 
favorite smell? Hmm. I have a strong nose, seriously, and I know this may sound weird, but I smell everything. Even when someone has started their cycle, um, if someone, okay, you guys know that Curve Cologne used to be like the hit back in the day, right? So, you know, I work in customer service. And for some reason, a lot of guys think that Curve is still in, and oh my god, I hate it. And I hate Fahrenheit for man. Like, I smell everything. If you have something on, I will tell you exactly what you have on, because my nose is ridiculous, and I'm obsessed with scents. Stop wearing Curve. Don't, don't, if not, the guys even watching, but don't, don't let your guy wear Curve anymore. There's so many other better scents to, to purchase. Uh, step his game up, and no Fahrenheit. Gives me a headache. Oh, the most disgusting scent ever. Computer or TV? Computer? I don't even watch TV no more. I watch all the things that come on TV on my laptop. Seriously. There's no need for the TV. It's off all the time. It's off right now. And before I started taping, it was off. I don't think I've turned it on all day. But I did just finish watching CSI on my TV. I mean, computer. The best site. TVShack.cc I'm just saying. Is it got to see? Yeah. You can watch everything. Movies. Up to date movies. Whatever. Don't tell me. Favorite place from home. Uh, I think this was. I was writing this down so fast while she was saying it. Um, oh, furthest place from home. Duh. I can't read my own writing. I've traveled a lot. I've played basketball my whole life. And I've been fortunate to travel from state to state. And several different countries, so um, I'll just tell you my two favorite places I've ever been. Um, Switzerland is one of the most beautiful places in the world, and I have some very close friends who still live there, and I need to get back there as soon as possible. And New Zealand. New Zealand is like mini America on, a, on two small islands. It is gorgeous. And their season's different than ours, so right now we're in winter, and they're in summer. So, it'd be nice to go there and skip winter. Just saying. Special talents. I ain't got no special talents. Except that I'm a damn fool. Seriously. And I know it. Like, the stuff that comes out of my mouth sometimes, I'm like, did you say that? Like I said, I, I think that I, I laugh all day long. And I enjoy making other people laugh. I'm a fool. Seriously. It's very toned down on this channel. I don't want to scare you guys away. Where were you born? In America? Y'all know how I feel about stalkers? That is just TMI. TMI. But I live in California, so there you go. Hobbies. Okay. I have recently got into photography. I have a camera. It's a Nikon D60 that I'm absolutely in love with. Except, I don't have nobody to to take pictures of. My family is getting tired of me taking pictures of them. And I also have, where is it? I don't have it, but I have a scrapbooking program that's on the computer where you can design your pictures and make full pages and just put them in your photo album. It is the coolest thing. I think it is Hallmark Scrapbooking. So I do like scrapbooking or creating photos. And I don't even have any around to show you. I, I wish I did, because I would show you guys. I love to create a lot of weird... Well, they're not weird. They're very beautiful pieces. Um, any pets? I don't have any pets, but... My last pet was a dwarf hamster. It was the cutest thing in the world. I just happened to be going to PetSmart with a friend, and she was getting a dwarf hamster, and I was like, I want a dwarf hamster! It's like a mini little rat. It was cute until until it became feisty as hell. It would oh that this little thing it would like nibble at your finger and it, it it was weird. It got to the point you're supposed to play with them every day so they can get used to the you and they can be become nice and socialize I guess. But my hamster was mean as hell. So when I left the country, I gave his ass away. It was a girl. Her name was Honey Child. I gave I gave it to a preschool. What? She saved the cage. She didn't bite nobody. I hope not. And if 
She did. They didn't call me because I wasn't taking that little demon back. All right. Any siblings? Yes, I have two brothers, one older and one younger. I'm the only girl, and I'm in the middle. Explains a lot, right? I'm just saying, it explains a lot. Let's see. What do you want to be when you grow up? Um, I'm, I'm grown up. But I just want to be... I guess I, I've kind of thought about this question a lot. I guess I just want to leave behind a great legacy. I want, when I leave this world, I want to know that I made a difference. And I think that's what I want to do when I grow up. I want to know that I made a difference in someone's life. I want to know that me being here was a blessing to somebody. And I want people to have nothing but good things to say about me. Not that I'm not, I'm not perfect and I do make mistakes and I am definitely a work in progress. But I don't stop trying and you shouldn't either. All right, that's the tag video. I'm done. That was easy. Um, no, it wasn't that easy. I had to write all these questions down. Seriously. All right, last thing. I always forget to tell you guys that I have a Twitter account, My Hair Fetish. That's the name. And I try to, I guess if I had more people following me, I updated with my random sayings. But I always forget about it because I don't think anybody knows about it. I have a couple people, but not much. And I also recently made a fan page for Facebook, so that way I can kind of talk to you guys more. Because when you guys hit me up on YouTube, I'm not always near the computer, only late at night and maybe early in the morning. And sometimes I'm just too tired to respond. But hello to all my subscribers, and I'm trying to respond to all your messages and send you a thank you for subscribing note. And I think I'm almost caught up. I hope so. I'm still going through stuff to make sure I am. Um, give me give me time and who am I tagging in this video you gotta write these questions down too because I had to um, I am tagging crazy curly Leah Leah I'm tagging you you know your name I'll put her name down here um, who else am I tagging I think, oh Mocha Cafe LA I'm tagging you and Curly Chronicles, I'm tagging you. I just want, I'm, I'm nosing too. Anyway, I have no idea how long this video is, and I can ramble on for days, and I've noticed I talk too much. You guys will be surprised the amount of stuff that I keep out the videos, because I'm just like, this is too long for somebody to watch. I'm not that entertaining. Anyway, getting out of here. Hope you guys are having a good day. Bye.